Hood Swagger players, it's your boy, Stax Montana, man. You feel me back out here, another video on deck. And in this video, I'm just going to be sitting here talking to y'all for a little bit. And I haven't done a video like this in a long time where I just sat here and talked to y'all for a little bit. Uh, since like my story time days, you feel me? Since I used to do those way, way back. Hey, we, hey, we used to go crazy with those, you feel me? Hey, if you want to see more story times, let me know down below in the comments. And I got y'all, but... In this video, man, as you see the title, bro, yeah, yeah, it's June, bro, it's June, and we were promised something in June, well, not necessarily promised, but definitely expecting something in June, and I ain't gonna lie, June 1st, I, I looked at, hey, I was looking at the time last night, and I was waiting for something crazy to happen, I was waiting for 12 o'clock to hit June 1st to be officially here, and nothing, nothing extravagant happened, but when I woke up this morning, I was impressed. I gotta say, I was impressed. My boy Flag got his first W in June when he tweet. Well, not tweeted out, but I seen somebody else tweeted it, so I tweeted it, and then you know whatever. But he said this: "You want people to have a, you know, what I'm saying a black versus white race war. This is not what's supposed to happen. This is supposed to be everybody against racist people. You know what I'm saying? Racist people come in all types of colors, shapes, and sizes. You know what I'm saying? So." The only way we can beat this racism is if everybody comes together. Now, listen, bro. Uh, me and Flight go way, way back. Like, a, a lot of people may not know this. But me and Flight go way, 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 way back to the time to, like, I remember I released some merch a long time ago. And Flight was one of the first people to cop, one, like, some of my merch. You feel me? Like, that's how far back we go. Like, yeah, we, we, go, we go that far back. So, that's why I never felt comfortable, like, coming in front of a camera and like playing flight out or disrespecting him in a way that's like personally like and i don't even really make jokes about him in general you don't say unless it's about his basketball skill which you know it's just it's just for jokes and entertainment but when it comes to personal attacks on him like calling him stupid or calling him this and that i don't do that because i personally know him and i feel like if i know you i would have publicly you know what i'm saying say stuff like that about you if i felt that way about you i would come to you and say that so i don't yeah i don't i don't partake in any of that stuff like that but when it comes to basketball stuff i do you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying you got hey hey when it's hey you feel me but not nah, even then you feel me i want to you know i've been i've been, I've been team uh flight all the way you feel me every 1v1 i knew he was gonna lose but i was hoping he wasn't gonna lose so that's how i was rocking but back to the point because i'm getting so far off the topic uh flight caught his first w of june bro um, now, obviously, I don't know when exactly he recorded that video. It could have been before June, but since I saw it in June, I'm going to count that as a June W, you feel me? Because, man, I feel like he, like, and, and a lot of people will be surprised that that is coming from flight, but I feel like he said that in the most professional and in the most, like, on-point way to where it's like anybody can understand that, bro, because I know there's a lot of things going on right now, and I don't want to get into too specific and you know saying i don't want to start uh some crazy mess going on in the comments and i definitely don't want this video to be taken down because i feel like people need to hear this message but bro it's not it's not a white versus black thing it, it, it's never been that at least for me and at least for people i know it has never been that you feel me it has never been that we've never uh, let me let me let me come let me slow down a little bit I'm trying to make it as simple as Flight made it without, you know what I'm saying, just giving my, my thoughts and my words on it. Um, but yeah, it's never been that, bro. And it's always been, in my opinion, good versus evil, right versus wrong, you feel me? And I feel like it's so easy to, to see racism and say nothing. Like, I feel like that is easy. Whether you are on the side of right, you feel me? I mean, even if you are on the side of right, it's so easy to see something racist, whether it's your friends doing something racist or, you know, your coworkers or people you're around. Like, you know what I'm saying? Parents, whatever. It's easy to see it and don't say nothing, but claim you're on the side of right. But that's wrong, if you get what I'm saying. Because silence, in a way, is supporting what's happening. It's like, if you say nothing, it's like you're agreeing with what's going on and what's going on is all the way wrong bro you feel me it's all the way wrong and i don't want to get into too much detail about everything because i'm sure you guys know and i feel like I've, I've i've said my piece more on twitter i feel like that's more of the platform for me to really speak about you know what i want to talk about right now it's just something light and i just want to 
give a light message. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy, nothing over the top. It's just that um, if you see something, bro, say something. You feel me? Because, like I said, when you're quiet and you're silent, it's a it's a sign that you're condoning it. You know what I'm saying? And for the most part, and I and no cap, bro. For the most part, a lot of people I've seen in the front lines of all of these videos and 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 out there like boots to the street bro has been a lot of white people bro and i respect them for that you know what I'm saying? i don't they don't get more respect for being white than i would give a black person they get the same respect but i just want to just mention that like we see y'all you feel me and we appreciate it that you are using your privilege to you know make bring awareness to the subject i'm sorry i'm kind of stumbling fumbling over my words a little bit because this is all off the top of the dome i didn't plan on something to say or anything like that but i do want to uh say this uh well i do want to leave with this message man that uh you know obviously the world right now is crazy bro um and whether you agree with what's going on or not i feel like in your heart you know what happened to cause all of this stuff because i feel like a lot of the time the action that caused all of this get lost you know what i'm saying and it's not lost because of the action that's happening now it's lost because sometimes people try to use this to cover that up or people try to spin this into something else and try to make this seem like this happened out of nowhere you know what i'm saying and i just want to say whether you agree with what's going on or not you know deep down in your heart and your soul that what happened was wrong bro it was wrong bro and at this point we tired of it happening i'm tired of it happening my family is tired of it happening my community is tired of it happening bro and it it, it, it just hurts so much because his family is never gonna be able to see that man again bro you feel me? He's never gonna be. They're never gonna be able to see him again, bro. They're never gonna see him smile, laugh. They're never gonna feel a hug from him again, bro. And it's for what? You know what I'm saying? Like that could have easily been avoided. Could have easily been avoided. And that's case in point to the point that I was trying to make. If you see something, say something. Because any of the other cops that were there could have stopped that situation from happening point blank. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I just want to leave with the message that whatever side of the fence you're standing on, and I hope it's the right side, you know what happened was wrong. You know it was wrong. You know it was wrong. And I'm going to leave it at that, man. Uh, if you watched the video to this point, I definitely do appreciate it. Uh, shout out to my guy Flight uh, once again for you know using his platform to, 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 to share that message. Uh, I hope that what I said came off as like as great as what as what he said you know what i'm saying because i feel like he got straight to the point i rambled a little bit but hopefully my point got across to a lot of people and hopefully just with a little bit that i've just said you know encouraging people to use their platforms and use their privilege to uh speak out against what's going on you feel me and um i also hope that if you came into this video by you know whatever you know whatever you thought was happening or whatever you thought this video was about and you was on the side of wrong i hope that you know with a little bit that i said that i've influenced you to at least at the very least you know what i'm saying do a little bit more research or at the very least try to think about what the other side is going through you know what i'm saying because we tired bro we tired dog we tired Got that black him out of get me through this shit. They shit go over that. I might get these niggas 10%. I'm a country man, not business man. That shit is off the grid. Off the map and shit might open up the bag and fucking deal. Like a bag of chips, you niggas think it crunch time, I'm a deal. Do 20% when my shit hit the charts, then it's a hit. It be made by friends. So